protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson. It is February 18th, 2015, and here's a look at our top stories. Tonight, the Obama administration's refusal to use the term Islamic terrorism provokes widespread criticism. Meanwhile, the administration is preparing to equip the so-called moderate Syrian rebels with the ability to order U.S. airstrikes. And a video captures a man punching himself in the face before he accuses the police of brutality. Oh man, that's gotta hurt. All that plus much more up next on the InfoWars Nightly News. It seems that the Obama administration is not content to arm al-Qaeda rebels with simple AK-47s or hand grenades. Now we have the article, Obama to give jihadists the ability to order airstrikes. Members of the Free Syrian Army will be provided with radios to call in airstrikes from American B-1B bombers as well as pickup trucks with mounted machine guns, as the president puts the final touches on plans to train as many as 3,000 rebels in Jordan and Turkey by the end of 2015. Negotiations have concluded, and an agreement text will be signed with the U.S. regarding the training of the Free Syrian Army in the coming period, said a Turkish foreign minister spokesman. The planes will reportedly use similar munitions to those seen in Afghanistan, targeting anything from small vehicles to tanks, with 500 and 2,000 pound guided bombs. And just to be clear, these are the same Syrian rebels we've seen singing praises to people like Osama bin Laden, celebrating the 9-11 attacks. These are the people that these weapons and these, uh, these plane strikes, these abilities are going to go to. Now, are there moderate rebels? Yeah, there are, I believe the estimates that they are less than 10%. So how do you know when the shipment hits the ground who these weapons are actually going to go to? We saw the video last year, the airdrop grenades in ISIS-held territory. It's like, oof, well, we didn't really mean for those guys to get it. Well, <laughs> why are you arming these guys in the first place? And then on top of that, if you can't even guarantee that they'll actually get the shipments of the weapons. So going from this, let's take another look, another aspect of Obama with these Islamic extremists and why he refuses to call this Islamic terrorism. The Obama administration's refusal to use the term Islamic terrorism has provoked widespread condemnation. But it fits perfectly with the federal government's past approach on the war on terror, which has been to elevate the importance of domestic extremism over the threat of Islamic terror. In planning this week's summit on combating violent extremists, the White House has consistently avoided naming Islamic extremism as its central focus, reports CNN. Despite two deadly attacks carried out in the name of Islam in Paris and Copenhagen in just the last two months alone. Now, let me be very clear when we talk about this, that I always try to preference when we talk about these uh, Islamic extremists. I'm talking about ISIS, Boko Haram, uh, the Mujahideen, groups like that. If you're just a normal uh, Muslim person, you wake up in the morning, you go to work, you go to school, you take your kids to the park, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the people who are burning down Christian villages, cutting off people's heads if they refuse to convert to Islam. These are the people that I'm talking about when we talk about articles like this, we're not talking about Muslims in general. But uh, Obama has refused to call these people um, Islamic extremists, even though that that's what they're going out there and doing. They're promoting a very radical form of this. And we know that this is what's going on when myself and Joe Biggs went to Dallas for the Stand with the Prophet rally last month. We met many peaceful, uh, cooperative, nice Muslim people out there, but that's one of the first things they told us. They say, hey, we don't support ISIS, we don't support Boko Haram, that's those guys over there doing that type of radical Islam, we don't support that. So even people in the Muslim community understand that's what's going on, but Obama refuses to uh, address this for what it really is. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com oil of oregano formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market, sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients 
ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules, you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue. Wild crafted from the Mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire. This winter season, it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano. Now available in our limited first run at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139.